Hello YouTube friends. Working on a 2003 Honda Odyssey. Uh, the cooling fans are not coming on at all. So, uh, depending on where you're driving, uh, the engine overheats. Now it stays cool. It's cold, cool part of the year. So it stays cool uh, a lot of times, but then if you stop, uh, it'll get it'll overheat so this is the fuse box this is the uh, condenser fan relay right here that comes on when your air conditioner supposed to come on when the air conditioner is on and the engine gets hot this is the cooling fan relay right here uh, that's the relay for the cooling fan uh, this is for the uh, this is for the air conditioner clutch here so we're not going to look at that um, this 30 amp fuse right here is the condenser fan and I've checked those and I've got power on both sides there and this is a cooling fan 30 amp right here I've got power on both sides there so I believe it's probably a sensor problem this is a layout of the what I just showed you uh, this is on uh, so it's very clear to see when you look at this fuse box. Okay, what I wanted to show you was the wiring diagram for this vehicle. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this is a diagram for the 2003 Honda Odyssey. But from my checking and reading, I believe the... Uh, most of the Odysseys have a very similar, the same or similar uh, circuit, wiring circuit <coughs> for the uh, cooling fans for the radiator. Now you have two fans on the radiator and like I said before, one is to give extra cooling when you run an air conditioner and the other is uh, the regular uh, fan to cool the radiator, to cool your engine. So. I want to show you right here, I'm holding this sideways uh, so we can get the whole thing in here. This is the radiator fan motor right here on the system and this is a condenser fan motor right here on the system. Alright, so this is the uh, radiator main fan relay here and this is the radiator fan relay here and a condenser fan relay here. Uh, here are your, your grounds across the bottom here. Ground one, all four grounds there. Of course your battery power here. The ignition switch here gives you uh, white running back this way, yellow running off this way. So I'm just going to hold that in place for a minute or two in case you need to look at that, figure anything out. Uh, so, we'll be working on this one. Uh, we're just getting started. All we did was check the fuses so far. Uh, my understanding is on uh, one of these relays, uh, you, can ground, you can ground one of the terminals and cause both both the fans to come on but uh, I haven't really got into that part of it yet just want to give you the wiring diagram uh, there and a little bit of the basics on the uh, fuse panel I'll go over this fuse panel one more time right here real quickly just to in case you're looking at it trying to figure everything out at night before you go out and tackle it the next morning so, like I say, ten, uh, condenser fan relay here, cooling fan relay here. Uh, this is the magnetic clutch uh, relay right here. Now, all these relays are the same, so you can switch them back and forth from what I understand to see if you got a bad relay. Uh, this is your 30 amp fuse here for the condenser fan. Your 30 amp fuse here for your cooling fan. So 
the layout is right here. Okay, YouTube. Uh, always appreciate you liking and subscribing, if you will. And I hope these videos are uh, helpful. Have a great day.